Alright, so I've been looking around in the faction world in the wilderness, and I found this epic base. <laughs> it's unclaimed, and I'm totally going to raid it. I just have to find a way in because this pit looks pretty dangerous. So, um, I think I'm going to try this button from over here on the obsidian. Make sure that nothing can get me. And, oh! Awesome! Oh, check it out inside. There's so much loot. I can't wait. Okay, so let's line it up. Take the jump, and... Uh, It was a trap. Hey, this is Ron and Go Boom, and welcome to my trap tutorial series. In this series, we're using another trap invention with ghost blocks. If you haven't seen my ghost blocks video, check it out here. It's got so many really cool ideas and shows you a lot of the tutorials on other things you can do. Today, we're going to do a trap that involves making it look like blocks are not there when they actually are. And that's by using slime blocks and ghost blocks. So these blocks don't look like they're here, but they are. <laughs> and that's because we moved them with ghost blocks. Those are blocks that are not really there. And when we try to go through them, even in creative mode, we can't. And in survival, we try to go through, we can't, and then we fall to our death. Loot is collected in the hoppers. <laughs> so let's see how this works. This is a pretty simple ghost block invention. I'll show you how to build it in just a moment, but let's see how this works. Basically, when we hit this button, a ghost block is created. This block right here, if I right click on it, it's not really there. And all you have to do to right click, do is right click and it'll disappear. I'm gonna create several of them though. And as I continue to create them, I just added a little bit of an extra piece of redstone to my machine, one little piston that pushes up a slime block up to change the direction of those ghost blocks. Um, since we changed the direction of those ghost blocks, if we put a slime block here, there are actually blocks here, but we just can't see them. So here we go, there's blocks there, we just can't see them. They were moved with the ghost blocks and we can continue that. It's also possible to mirror image this so that they're two wide or three wide, as many as you like. Um, you just keep in mind that the limit for a slime block is 12 blocks. So over here, it's the same system as over there, except for I hooked it up to an extender and a repeating signal. So this hopper sends an item back and forth and back and forth. The comparator can detect that item and tells this to continue making ghost blocks, even though you hit the button only once. So they start to move up and they continue until the signal runs out. And now we have our nice little doorway, or should I say fake doorway. Now let's build it. These are some of the materials you'll need. We're going to start out by just making a little bit of a platform three by three. Then we're going to place blocks like this, a repeater, two ticks, a repeater here set to one tick, redstone, redstone torch. Next we need a sticky piston, a regular piston, and another sticky piston facing this way. We're going to need a slime block here and we're going to need another block here. If I were to have a button here, we would have our ghost block generator already. You see this is generating ghost blocks, but we don't want horizontal ghost blocks. In fact, we want vertical ghost blocks. So to make this go vertical, all we have to do is place a redstone torch here, a couple blocks. We're going to have this one go down one, and we want a sticky piston facing up with a slime block. Next we just need some redstone to connect it and that's it. Now as this slime block goes up and down because of that sticky piston, it will push that ghost block upward. And the last thing that we need is just a single slime block right here. And that slime block can be attached to your door. The last thing that we have to do, now that these blocks are ghost blocks, the last thing that we have to do is automate this system so that it will produce multiple ghost blocks with only one press of the button. To do that, we're going to place a comparator here, so we don't need this button anymore. We're going to grab our hoppers. We're going to have hoppers facing into each other just like this. We're going to put one of any item in the hopper, doesn't matter which one, and then 
We're going to bring this out here because we want a redstone torch. We don't want that on all the time. Next, we just have a redstone signal that goes to a button wherever you want to place it. For the sake of this video, I'll just place a button right here, right on the outside, right in front of the door. We're going to place redstone underneath, and we want to extend this signal. My choice method of extension is using comparators. So I'm just going to place a comparator facing this way, a comparator facing this way, and a redstone and a block, and that's it. This should extend, and now we should have a system that will move these slime blocks. Now we just need some obsidian to line our doorway. Obsidian's great because it doesn't get moved by slime blocks. We'll place a piece of obsidian there, and then one here. We could replace this with obsidian if we wanted to. And then we cover up all the redstone. Now you have a nice fall trap into your base. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button. You guys have been smashing that like button lately, and it's really been helping my channel. We're growing really fast, and I can't wait for this summer. Starting June 8th, I'm gonna be doing YouTube full time. Until then, I'm gonna have trap videos every Tuesday, and Boomcraft server videos in between. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and I'll see you next week for Trap Tuesday.